After defeating Harvard 68-65 in the Ivy Tournament Championship, Penn men's basketball secured its spot in the NCAA tournament for the first time in 11 years. Later that day, the Quakers learned that they were a 16 seed, going up against number one Kansas in Wichita, Kansas. Here's what the players have to say about this memorable game. Because that just shows you the magnitude of college basketball and, and March Madness in the NCAA tournament, that these many people care about it. I think we should have seen it higher. I think a lot of people do. And it does suck that we had to play Kansas in Kansas. It definitely didn't help us. But it's a good learning experience and how like we know what something like that is. I don't think it hit us at that point. Like, I don't think it mattered what our seed was, we just wanted to hear our name called. Oh, 16. Like we was we celebrated and then it was like, oh like, yeah, it's a 16. Like we kind of felt disrespected a little bit. It was definitely uh, a little a little another sh like shocking feeling, a little weird feeling, seeing that we're we're gonna be a 16 seed playing a one seed. You know, we came in with that uh, knowing that a 16 seed had never been a one seed. So our mentality was just like, why not us? So never been on a private plane before that we had uh, that we chartered. So it was uh, it was some fun, something new. As soon as we land, well, we land at the airport. It was like half a mile away from the hotel. So we show up to the hotel and there's cheerleaders waiting for us. They're cheering us on while we're just walking to the hotel. They have snacks all ready for us. It was kind of crazy and hectic, but it was definitely like a joy. We go to the arena the next day and for our, for our walkthrough and, and like half the arena is just packed. Like just all Kansas fans. Just, and they were super supportive too. It's not like they were like critical or anything. They, they gave us a huge standing ovation when we were done. To go to that practice in Wichita and see the amount of fans for a 20 minute, 40 minute shoot around was something to me that they'll never forget. We had an open practice and it's like 14,000 people. So it's like a lot more people at an open practice than actually our championship game. So it was definitely just like eye opening. You know, we got little kids with posters hanging up and it was, it was just, I don't even know how to describe it. The amount of people who, the amount of eyes we had on our game, you know, especially when we were out there um, in the arena, it was a huge, huge arena. And then also realizing that how many people are tuning in from TV somewhere, because we're on a, like a major uh, cable network uh, playing basketball in front of all these people. But that, that feeling really went away as soon as the ball tipped off and it was just turned into another basketball game. But being able to take all that in was definitely a cool moment for, for all of us. And then like being out there, it's just like, the only thing different is like the name on the jersey. Like it's nothing really like we can definitely compete with anyone in the country in my opinion. So it was like they tie our shoes exactly how we do. So it was just like let's go play basketball, let's go play our game. Yeah, I think it really like set in when uh, they subbed in Azubuki because uh, Bill Self like said that he would be used in an emergency situation. So he only, he only played a little bit, but when they subbed him in, I think for most of the people on the team, that's when we were like, all right, like, we're here, like we're doing it. And it's an emergency situation. We got Kansas on, uh, you know, on the ropes a little bit in the first half. Kansas pulls away. Still, no number one seed has lost in the first round. Kansas wins 76-60 over Penn. We weren't making free throws, and we weren't finding ways to score. And that's on us. And that's being poised on the offensive event. So uh, we felt like we had a good match against them. And, and we showed we did in the first half. And you know, things didn't go our way in the second half. We didn't execute as well. But, you know, I think things would be different if we played them again. That game was like the championship was a blur. It felt so so fast compared to all the build up and, and everything that was going on. So I think it's really important for for me and our team to, like this year to just focus on every game, one game at a time. Now we have first hand experience of what it's like to play against people who are serious contenders for uh, March Madness to, to win the whole thing. So and we and we we saw like we could stick with them. So. Uh, I think having that experience and knowing that we should, we really have nothing to be afraid of of these, these bigger name teams just because they're playing every every uh, every weekend on national television doesn't mean that you know we can't come in and show them what we got, um, do what we do, and even come out on top. So I think that uh, that's something we're going to be shooting for this next year. The big aspect, like the biggest aspect you can take away from our team last year was the family mentality that we built. We didn't care about who scored, care about the scoring, like the, who rebounded, who led in assists. We didn't care less. Uh, we all just like bought into our angle. We all knew that we wanted to win an IP championship. We all knew that we wanted to put a banner up in the cholesterol. 
Like everyone has that childhood dream, like they want to make it to the NCAA tournament, want to be a part of like Selection Sunday. So just to be able to do it with a group of guys that I'm able to call my brothers is just a special place in my life.